Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be a quicker video. It's really just going to be based on the lullaby technique. This is an affirmation technique that's used to fall asleep imagining your wish fulfilled. This is going to be excellent if you have difficulty visualizing. This was mostly made popular by Dr. Joseph Murphy in his book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, but Neville Goddard has also mentioned something very similar. So I'm going to break down when you should do this, so ideally in the morning or just before sleep, and the reason for that is because of your brainwave state. You're going to be more naturally in a alpha or even theta or delta brainwave state, which makes it easier to impress your subconscious. Don't make it a huge deal. Don't start wondering, did I impress my subconscious? That's how you get out of alignment, okay? Just trust the process, know that you're fine. You can do this anytime, but it helps just after waking or just before sleep. Also, we're going to say how to choose your affirmation how to relax, okay? You wanna be in a relaxed state in order to really focus and do this, and that will help you tremendously. And then the act is just falling asleep. Choosing your affirmation. Neville Goddard, when he teaches this, he explains that he likes to use something short that implies that your desire is fulfilled. Something like, it is done, or thank you, Father. These words, saying them, knowing, feeling, catching the mood, that your desire is already fulfilled. That's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be repeating this short phrase, it is done, or thank you, Father, over and over and over. Now, you could choose anything, and those are great because they're not specific. If you want, you can choose I am affirmations, like I am rich, I am rich, I am rich, if that's what you desire. But if you feel resistance, then Dr. Joseph Murphy recommended that you do something non-specific, like thank you, Father, it is done, or by day and by night, I'm being prospered in all my interests. That's a wonderful one. I love to say that before I drink any water, I speak it into the water, but that's another method maybe we'll talk about some other time. But what you want to do is get relaxed, okay? So if you're laying in bed, I recommend that you lie uncomfortably, okay? You wanna be slightly uncomfortable. Not so much so that it takes your attention away from what you're doing, but what I like to do is lay on my back with my palms down underneath my bottom. This is just slightly uncomfortable. There's no way I could fall asleep doing this. But then I will count down from 100 to zero. This mental focusing technique, meditation, whatever you want to call it, I got from the Jose Silva Mind Control Method. This is a book. It's absolutely wonderful. You're learning how to control and use your own mind as a powerful tool. So definitely check that out if you're interested in it. It also has a lot to do with manifesting. And many, many people have marvelous success with it. So check that out. But I start from 100. Many people may fall asleep. You can start from 20 if that helps. But you count down from 100 or 20 with roughly two seconds in between each count. I do it like this. 100, ohm, 99, ohm, all the way down to zero, okay? Anytime your mind wanders, any other thoughts, what was going on today, what's gonna happen tomorrow, always bring it back to counting down, okay? You don't have to restart, but bring it back to counting down. And by the time you reach zero, you are going to be in a perfectly focused mental state, almost a trance-like meditative state where you will more easily be able to impress your subconscious. You can do this anytime, but it does help if it's just after waking or just before sleep. Now that you're in that focused mental state, just simply repeat to yourself, trying to work up the feeling, the mood you would have if your desire were already fulfilled. Now, like I said, you choose your affirmation, something short, three to five words like Neville recommended or something a little longer, more specific is also possible as Dr. Joseph Murphy recommended. Either it is done, it is done, it is done, or by day and by night, I'm being prospered in all my interests. By day and by night, I'm being prospered in all my interests. Whatever it is that you choose, you repeat it over and over and over, doing your best to enhance the feeling, which isn't just emotion. You may have an emotion involved, but it's more of an acceptance, right? A thankfulness, more like a gratitude, a relief, a relaxation, whatever it is you would actually experience if you knew that your desire were already fulfilled now. And you simply repeat that over and over and over until you feel a peak of satisfaction, okay? And once you hit that peak of mental, emotional, spiritual satisfaction, then you can turn over and try and carry that satisfaction into sleep. Usually it's good if you have a smile on your face. If you're falling asleep with a smile on your face, then you know you've done a good job. Not necessary, but it helps, okay? It's a good sign. That is the lullaby technique. You simply fall asleep repeating these words in that focused mental state. Uh, if you can fall asleep doing it, if you can fall asleep in the act of saying the words, 
even better, but many people have difficulty with that. So it helps if you just repeat it until you reach a peak of satisfaction and then you can fall asleep in the reverie, right? You turn over, get comfortable and fall asleep in the reverie of that satisfactory feeling. That is the Lullaby Technique, super straightforward. I hope you enjoyed it. You can always check out my website where I've got some free downloads as well as my book, my specific person manifestation guide, and you can book one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much, and I will see you next time. Take care.